greet you today in the name of the lovely Lord Jesus Christ to the city elders of the Tulsa metropolitan area across the state of Oklahoma and beyond. Got a great word for you today and three very important announcements. I hope you'll stay tuned till the end. First of all, a really insightful passage of scripture in Exodus chapter 24 where Moses has received the law He's receiving, he's about to receive revelation about the tabernacle and the priesthood and the sacrificial system and the ceremonies. All of the details about being the custodian of the manifest presence of God. The children of Israel are going to be carrying God in their midst. Now, one of the prerequisites, one of the requirements is this heart's posture I'm about to read to you. In chapter 24, verse 3, And Moses came and told the people all the words of the Lord and all the judgments, and all the people answered with one voice and said, All the words which the Lord hath said will we do. That's repeated in verse 7. All that the Lord hath said we will do and we will be obedient. Now, that heart's posture is required for progressive revelation, new light, new understanding. For God to show you the way and me the way, we have to have a heart's posture that says, I will do what the Lord tells me to do. It's actually the grace of God that allows, uh, that, that, uh, causes him not to give us more light and more light unless we're willing to walk in it. Because if you had a lot of light or more light and you're not willing to walk in it, it becomes a judgment on us. So they said, we will do whatever the Lord wants us to do, a heart's posture of submission and obedience and humility before God. Now, there's a New Testament correlation to that, a verse in John chapter 7 This is very interesting because it it runs counterintuitive to our our nature and counterculture. Jesus said in John 7, If any man will do his will, God's will, then shall he know the doctrine, whether it be of God. In other words, Jesus is saying, If you have a heart to obey, God will show you. If any man will do his will, then shall he know. Now, culture, secular humanism, rationalism says, if you know better, you will do better. It's just the opposite. It's not just more knowledge. Otherwise, those that are highly educated would be the most honest, productive. There would be no thievery, no stealing, etc., etc. Jesus said, If you will do his will, if you have a heart that says, I want to obey, then you will know the doctrine, whether it be of God. It's that heart for truth and heart for obedience and submission that gives us light and revelation and understanding. So keep your heart right. Keep your heart in submission to the Lord. He will guide you. He will guide me. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not under your own understanding. In all of your ways, acknowledge him. What does that mean? Acknowledge him as Lord. Let him be Lord in all your ways, and he will direct your path. You'll walk right into the will of God. Well, that's a good word. So a couple of two or three very important announcements. This Thursday, June the 20th, we have a guest speaker a Miss Terry Beatley from the Hosea Initiative. She'll be sharing about the conversion of Dr. Bernard Nathanson. He's the father of the American abortion industry. The 83-year-old doctor deeply regretted that he unleashed a culture of death. And Terry went to meet with him and spent time with him, and he commissioned her to teach Americans how he deceived the whole nation and gave a personal message for her to communicate to the nation. And so she's quite, she's quite a dynamo. And it, this is very timely because right now 
after the reversal of Roe versus Wade, the abortion issue has gone back to the states, and we have lost 14 ballot initiatives. We're hoping the stay will be in Oklahoma, that the, the bloodletting will stop here, and then there will be uh, other states that will follow. On top of Terry being with us, we are going to be so honored this Thursday to have Aaron Michael Helland. This is our very own Dr. Dean Helland's son, who's a missionary in Sao Paulo, Brazil, and he's also the facilitator of the birthing of the first city elders council in Sao Paulo, Brazil. And he's going to be with us this Thursday to give us a testimony. I'll put the flyer up of one of their events. You'll see it written in Portuguese. I'm going to put it on the screen so you can see it'll bless you. City Elders, Sao Paulo, Brazil. And so he's going to be with us. We're going to give him an entire session because he has so much to share with us about what's what's been happening in Brazil and, and the, the birthing of city elders there. So we're going to give him an, an entire session coming up soon, but he'll be giving a testimony this Thursday. You don't want to miss it. It's going to bless you. And lastly, the first Friday, I'm sorry, the second Friday, July the 12th, is our banquet with Dr. Peter McCullough. Now, Dr. Peter McCullough is the most published cardio doctor in history, not just America, in history, in the world. He's one of the primary voices exposing the mismanagement and the bioweaponization of the COVID-19 virus. He's going to have updates for us. We're inviting technicians, physicians, clinicians, and nurses to come to that banquet and have a closed-door session with Dr. Peter McCullough. He was our uh, guest speaker with our largest attendance ever at City Elders. And so, pastors, if you have doctors, nurses, physicians in your congregations, let me encourage you, each church, uh, this is a challenge, have each church to book one table. Let that be a challenge to you. That way, every church will have a table represented. Let me encourage you, pastor, to to secure a table. You don't have to pay for it, just host it and bring um, leaders to the meeting. Also, our civil government leaders and our business leaders, I wanna challenge you to do the same. To host a table, bring your business partners, um, bring your uh, political colleagues uh, in, in the House, in the Senate. And so this is gonna be a very important um, teaching and a very important presentation from Dr. Peter McCullough. And we're going to be inviting uh, people from the Stitt administration, particularly in the medical field, et cetera, uh, health and human services. And so it's just going to be a great banquet. And registration is open. And uh, let me encourage you to go ahead and get registered today. Tomorrow is the primary. And I'm going to have a, a link in the email, not the text message, there's not enough room there, but if you click on the email in this text, mes text message, it will send you to our weekly email, the City Elders Update. And there is a link to ivoterguide.com. You can just click on it and it will help you in voting for the right person tomorrow in the primary. God bless you. Hope to see you this Thursday. Bye. Join the movement. Change the world. CityElders.com